Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. This is going to be a bit of an unusual video because I'm going to unbox this gigantic package that I have got from BIOS iEngineer. And guess what? In this package I'm supposed to have my first batch of TPM 2.0 modules for machinist and supermicro motherboards. So let me put my phone on the stand and record unboxing of this gigantic box. The box is so big that it kind of doesn't fit into my standard unboxing table, but I will try my best to show what's inside. So the first thing I see here is this Fashionist X99 RS9 motherboard, or its internal Chinese name, which is Tu Xie Shi. I will open this box a bit later, but as you can see on the picture, this is exactly the Machinist X99 RS9 motherboard, uh, just a different name which Chinese use inside China. Here I see some treats for my little kid. Bias I engineer decided to spoil him with uh, some little toy cars. Let's see how many there are. Давай відкривай пакет. Це пакет від дяді Громана. Тут Зайн прийшов. Это Зайн. Ями. Ось тут можна відкрити. Відкривай пакет. Молодец, открывай. Что ты тут нашел? Это что такое? Нет, это какой колер? Так, зеленая машинка. А что ты там еще нашел? Что там, белая машинка? Цукерки знайшов. Хочеш цукерку? Так, мама відкриє тобі цукерку. Мама, Тримай цукерку. Ой. Так. Скажи, дякую, дядя Роман. Ямі. Скажи, дякую. О, молодець. Що, підеш гратися з машинками? Так. Окей. Скажи бавай. Бувай. Бавай. О, молодець. Some little chewy candies. I believe this is the invoice or receipt for my purchase. Here we have some extra goodies. Uh, your shield. This is the TPM module for my Supermicro motherboard, but let me quickly take out the Supermicro board and see what's inside. The motherboard looks very nice and I can feel the Supermicro quality. Everything is very solid, everything looks perfectly neat and even though this is a second-hand motherboard it is very clean very well maintained and I hope that it will be my daily driver for testing LJ3647 Xeons well uh, we will see how that goes because I have ordered a couple of um, Xeons for testing one unfortunately decided to die on me but I still have some other to test and make interesting videos for you also, Bias I Engineer is working on custom bias for this Supermicro motherboard to unlock all the features such as RAM timings, resizable bar, and so on. So, if you're interested, stay tuned, everything will be available on my channel. Now, let's open this 2CR3 motherboard that we know as Machinist X99 RS9. 
There is nothing remarkable about this motherboard, it's the all well-known Machinist X99 RS9, the only difference is that these SATA 2 ports are yellow and not red, and we also have a VRM fan. But of course, BIOS I engineer installed the TPM 2.0 module and soldered the required wires to reset this TPM when you restart your computer. Again, to emphasize, the TPM 2.0 module works with the Machinist motherboards without these additional soldered wires, but you need to power on and off your computer for it to properly function. If you restart your computer, then the TPM is not getting reset and it will hang and your computer will not detect the TPM 2.0 module. Finally, let's open this box that contains ready-made TPM 2.0 modules for Machinist and Supermicro motherboards. Here we have it! Let's take one and see. This is a beautiful little device. It's a TPM 2.0 module for machinist motherboards. I will have to install here key lock for these connectors, so it can only be connected to the motherboard the right orientation, so people do not blow up the motherboards and TPM modules. And after that, I will pack and ship the first orders of this module. For now, I have sold a bit more than 10 of these, so all of your orders will be shipped in the next week. And from now on, if you buy on my website one of these modules for your machinist motherboard, I will ship them straight away without any delays. Additionally, we also have a couple of Supermicro TPM 2.0 modules, the horizontal and the vertical connector for different motherboards, uh, depending on what kind of orientation you need on your motherboard, but they work with the Supermicro X11, X12, X13 and the H13 motherboards, given that you have a connector that can actually fit this TPM 2.0 module. And that's about it. Now I gotta get busy testing and packing these TPM 2.0 modules to ship out the orders. Then I also have the Supermicro motherboard to test with a couple of uh, Xeon LJ3647 CPUs. Um, then I have also got a dual socket from Intel, also LJ3647 and AMD 4700S must be tested. Additionally, Chinese sent me an R1 SBC with a rock chip on board, so I gotta figure out what to do with that. Maybe some interesting content will be there. Hopefully during the next week I can make another video for you, otherwise see you in two weeks or so. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, stay tuned and don't forget to buy your TPM 2.0 for Machinist or Supermicro motherboards. Bye for now.